What's going on, Church Fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So the Heavenly Father placed a powerful word in my spirit. And he said, when you don't thirst after the Lord, you will thirst for despair. Those were some powerful words to me. Because I've been reading in Exodus about the children of Israel. And from 15 to 16, all the way to 17, the children of Israel murmured about not having water or not having food to eat. But I noticed something that was beginning to become a pattern. They was thirsting after water quite often. And in Exodus 17, verse 3, it say, And the people thirst therefore water, and the people murmured against Moses, and said, Wherefore is this that thou hast brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our cattle with thirst? And Exodus 17, verse 4, it say, and Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, What shall I do unto these people? They be almost ready to stone me. See, they was ready to kill Moses because of thirst. And they also tempted God, saying, Is God with us or not? And the Heavenly Father used that to teach me that when you don't entertain your mind with the word of God, when you don't believe, the devil will entertain your mind with the world. And he will cause you to fall into this deep despair because when you thirst after the things of the world, it changes the reality of your life in a negative way. Because at the end of the day, the enemy wants you to lose hope. He wants you to have disbelief in your heart. When God is saying, I can change your circumstances. I can change your reality. I can make the crooked path straight. I can make a way for you in the wilderness if only you believe me and have faith. Because faith means to be trustworthy. God is trustworthy. So we can believe that he can make a way for us. He can quench that thirst. So what ended up happening was the children of Israel had to go to battle and they fought against Amalek. And the Bible went on to say in Exodus 17, verse 11, and it came to pass when Moses held up his hand that Israel prevailed and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. See, I'm going to stop it right there because I'm still learning. But what I realized is this. If God ever let down his hand, that's how the enemy will prevail over you. But if you remain in the hands of God, you prevail over the enemy. See, the only reason the children had to go to battle is because of their murmurings. See, when we complain about our circumstances, that's giving the devil the power to create an alternate path that the Heavenly Father didn't choose for you. But when you cry unto the Lord, he's going to give you the strength to prevail over your enemy. And like I said, he's going to quench that thirst that you have. As we believe and trust in the plans of God when we travel the wilderness. So when you thirst after the Lord, you won't thirst for despair. Whenever we don't believe, we got to fight. Whenever we don't put our lives in the hand of the Heavenly Father, it always lead us toward destruction. When God stretched forth his hand, he's going to shield you in the day of trouble. But we got to trust him. We got to believe that God heard our cry in the wilderness, y'all. So to bring this to a close, 
the Heavenly Father spoke something in my spirit. And he said, who are you running to? The Lord, the one who can provide your every need, the one who can place you in a better life circumstance, the one who can turn your circumstances around so that it work in your favor, the one who can place you in the land that's flowing with milk and honey, or are you running to despair? The problems that you face, the circumstances that's proven to be difficult in your life, the mess that causes you to feel depressed and anxious about your life. See, God can't be tempted. And that's why we should put all of our faith and trust in him. That's why we should believe. Because the devil will always use our life circumstances to try to disguise temptation as a way out. But God can't be tempted. He already know how this situation going to end because he has already planned a way of escape. That's why the words say we shouldn't lean toward our own understanding. We should lean toward God's understanding because his thoughts are higher than ours. And he sits high and looks low. He oversees what's going on in the land. So if he give you instruction, Follow every step of the way because that's what's going to set you free from bondage. That's what's going to deliver you out of the snares of the enemy. That's how you're going to navigate through the wilderness. God is all knowing. And he could be talking to you. But if you allow the voice of complaining to override the voice of God, you will never hear what God is instructing you to do next. That's the purpose for why we pray. We pray for clarity. So thirst after the Lord, so you won't have to thirst for despair. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.